Hey YouTube and welcome back to another edition of Zack the Ripper. Super excited. I've got some cards that I really like opening here and some Topps Allen and Ginter 2019. I've seen a little bit of them online uh, watching some other people unbox or box break I should say. Um, seven packs plus one extra six cards per pack looking for autographs and relics. It'd be really cool to get one um, of one of my good players but anyways I always like these. They just have some cool extra things in them, um, some older cards, and then just some like random sports cards that are in them. Um, packaged up pretty nice. I do believe this is a Topps product, so I probably won't have to use my knife to open them up. That's one nice thing about the Topps products is the packs open a little easier. So, let's guys take a look at these. <clears throat> Got the box off at the pool. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs. I'm not seeing any major or distinct differences, although there's like a little air in between them. That kind of looks cool in its own right, just that little spread. I just like the way they make their products. Nothing special on the back. So we will just get busy ripping and see what we pull. All right. Oh, I already see something cool on the back. One of my favorite players. Oh, lost a little card there. Um, we got George Brett for the KC. Um, really nice. Um, I like the way these look so far. I'll let you guys see the back. Um, they have all the stats on them. Just a little different. They kind of write them out. So instead of it uh, being small. So And they're really thick cardstocks. Nice. Got a Roberto Clemente. I'll take that all day long. Got Snell. Benny Snell. I got a rookie Telez for the Jays. Look at that fella. He's big. I got a Killebrew Greatest Holds at Bats and Balls. For the twins there, so that's cool. Harmon Killebrew, first baseman, third baseman. All right. Called him Killer. Didn't know that. I'm actually going to set that one up. That was just kind of neat. And then in the middle of that, what fell out was this tiny little Dreschel card here. These are actually worth a little more. Ninjas standing on the American Ninja Warrior for the past two seasons. So that's kind of cool. They put him in there. I'm going to set him up in front of Kilburn. hope he just kind of stands there. I don't think he's going to go on my stand. So that's kind of what I was talking about with that uh, weird extra stuff that they do. I'll try to open these up so you can't see them. We have Knight biting a gold medal there. That's a cool card. Women's hockey. So that's what I was talking about him being a little different. I got a rookie Newman for the Phillies. That's awesome. Got Mr. Murray for the Orioles there. We've got a small card here. We have a baby shark new to the zoo. What a strange card. Shark species. <laughs> These, like I said, are worth a little bit. And this one's just like a picture of a tiny shark that you could have in your aquarium. So really strange. Then I got that followed up by a NASA piggybacking um, that 747 that carries them around. So that's really strange. And then a rookie Lugo. So... That's super cool in its own right. All right, let's keep moving here. Uh, that NASA card I'm going to put up. I like that. That's really cool. Let's see what it says on the back. Oh, wow, look at the back of that card. I'm glad I showed you guys that. The Discovery was NASA's third orbiter following Columbia and Challenger. So that's the Discovery. So it gives you a little detail on that. That is a cool card. I'm a huge fan. Of, well, I'm a nerd. Let's just be honest. So it's not a huge fan, and I love NASA stuff. There's a cool... We got a Petite for the Yankees. That is a cool card. I'll set him up. Got Mr. Sales for the Red Sox. We've got Brock for St. Louis. We've got a small Mike Trout. Nice. That card's going to be valuable. So that's that tiny card. That's that Mike, that's Mike Trout. That's amazing. So that is a hit. I'm going to stick that right in front of Petite. Let that sit there. That's awesome. Then we've got... Wow. Incredible equipment. We have David's Slingshot. Um, obviously not the real one, but a representation of it. So these they just do some different stuff. And then we got a Juan Soto Nationals card. So really good card there. I'm going to put that David's Slingshot up. It's just real strange. Um, anyways, kind of move to my next up. Sorry, I went off camera there a little bit. <clears throat> Get through this a little quicker. Try not to keep you guys over. We got... Mr. Devers for the Red Sox. We got Falefa. I don't know how to say that, but he's on the Rangers. I probably should know that. 
Nice. We got Marte, Sterling Marte, another small card, so that'll be a valuable card as well. Put that in, just put that down here, actually. Hopefully you guys can see that. We have Mares and Stallions, Andalusian. So again, just these strange cards that they put in here. Just got a little in information. Spanish horse. Okay. We've got Perez. And then we've got a rookie McNeil for the Mets. Nice card. Nice card. Really nice cards. Like the way those sit and feel. All right. We've got oh, Bate for the Chicago Cubs. Got another Cubs and Hap. Got Garcia Para for the Red Sox. It's an older card. We've got Andujar, another small Yankee. So that's a good card. And then we've got baseball star signs. Bregman is an Aries. <laughs> okay. Cool to know, I guess. A oh, nice, and then a Sheffield rookie card for the Mariners. That's an awesome card to pull. I'm gonna put that in front of David's slingshot there. That's probably, in terms of what I've pulled so far, other than that trout, the nicest card. A Bregman's cool too, and will definitely be worth something. Keep it tracking, guys. I'm trying to keep it under ten for you. All right. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on. These don't want to come out. Sorry, guys. All right, we have nice Cincinnati Red Stockings pitcher. I wonder what year that is. Let's pull and see what it says. 1869, first all-professional baseball team. That's a cool card. I'll put that in front of NASA, even though it's pretty cool. Nice, Reggie Jackson wearing his A stuff. That's a cool card to get. Got a Dozier, small card. Like I said, those are a little more valuable. Got Kane for the Brewers. <laughs> Another Reggie Jackson. I got two Reggie Jacksons in that. That's cool. Ginter grades. Let's show the back of that. And then a Mercer. I don't know who that is. Numerous prominent characters in animation. Luke Skywalker, Fallout. Cool. Just a voice actor. Just different. All right. Let's see what we got here. The next set, we've got Blackman. Nice. Carter for the Expos. Neshek for the Phillies. Oh, that is so freaking cool. We've got a B-17. It's an artist drawing, History of Flight. Man, these are cool cards. I'm going to put that in front of my red stockings. We've got an In Bloom Natal Lily, another small, strange card, and a Vladimir Guerrero. Um, yeah, these cards are just so different. I do enjoy them, though. So um, that B-17 is super cool. Again, the nerd in me just likes it. All right, we've got Loriano. Nice rook. Another nice rookie hit. We've got Altuve, card you can't be mad at. Santana. Another good card. We've got Hermes sandals for incredible equipment. These are so strange. We have a golden retriever puppy on a small card. And then finally, we're finishing off with a Crawford for the Giants. Um, again, just really strange stuff gets put in these Ginter cards that are super cool. So um, I always sleeve up these just because they are so different and so neat. Um, and I'll keep them in good shape. That Sheffield rookie was awesome. That Trout was awesome. Pulled the Loriano rookie. Um, again, these cards right here are probably my favorite out of this stuff that's just so different. That B-17, the Red Stockings first pro team, and then that. So we'll be sleeving all those up. Thanks for watching, guys. I really like Alan Ginter. Um, try not to buy too much of it just because uh, it is a little more expensive. Now, that box was uh, 20 bucks, so not too bad. Um, and I do think I'll make my money back on the Sheffield. If you like something, um, certainly ask me about it. I don't guarantee that I'll sell everything, but I can be talked into most things. So anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Got one more video I'm doing today and then uh, we'll be putting these out. So hopefully you guys will see these soon. Remember, we're doing a contest at the end of each month. Um, so if you like, subscribe and make a comment saying you like and subscribe. Um, You'll be entered into a contest at the end of each month. Um, past subscribers are already in it, so we'll just keep growing. Um, although I may, once we hit about the 50 to 100 mark, start just doing new subscriber competitions mixed with old, you know, everybody, so that it just becomes a little more um, possible for somebody to win. So, anyways, keep it another 10. Thank you guys for liking and subscribing and watching. I'm hoping you guys do that, I guess. Um, and we'll see you next time.